mixed martial arts live event in this Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena. And you remember when we finally got here in 2016, we've been showing up strong ever since. You know, every time you go to MSG, you should come with a big event. This is a phenomenal arena. This is a fantastic fight environment. New York City, baby, the city of dreams. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. And there comes the separation now. Poirier does a better job when he's the guy going forward. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Wow. A single collar tie. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Dustin Poirier. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there. Sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line to avoid the, the comeback shot. Head off the center line. He watches the counter with that beautiful straight left that he throws over and over. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high block. Oh! oh takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Attacking the triangle, he finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right now. Now he's up here. Now he can escape. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, close guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 30 seconds now to go in round one. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my... All right, round two is here. Charles Ready, Oliveira Ready. versus Dustin Poirier. That shot is blocked by Dustin Poirier. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. While he's been pretty accurate tonight, he's landed some significant strikes, but his corners... Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. Hi. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah, he's going to try to attack a Kimura here. He'll try to get him up on his no, right foot. back into the finishing position. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Close guard. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. 
Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. 36 total strikes have landed for Justin Poirier. And still landing at a pretty good clip, DC, landing with 58% accuracy against Charles Oliver. Left hand punch from the clip. That punch, no good. Oh! He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Job to reverse position on the Gorier. He's got the back going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking Nicely because done. he's getting choked. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. Here we go, here we go. Have a seat, have a seat. Oh, yeah, let me look at that eye. It's all right, no problem. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really strong. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his shoulder hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Side control now. He got a finish! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Work. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's going to try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Bottom, bottom fighter trying to contain. He's out. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Down into his mouth. Just over three minutes to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Poirier. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. We have now crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. So unofficially, six. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, tie, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. And both guys really throwing with authority. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Was a great It's over. It's over, John. Nicely done. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle. Watch triangle. Transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. 
Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart to see who has the end. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. This big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really? Wow, actually got the takedown. Good movement by him here on the ground. He really is. Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. And he's out. Bar working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. All right, side control now. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots to the top. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. He's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oliveira's trying for a submission here. Attacking armbar. And he's out. Uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and... Defensively, you better be careful. 15 seconds remain in the round. Aren't you good ground and pound by him here? Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Ready fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the pro. Oh, he's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, oh he can't. Oh, he put him to sleep. Oh, and that is it. The referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly, the venerable Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, let me hear Gaines going to stop this contest at 42 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout and Woo! Champion of the world, Dustin the 
Time 